Hello, this is the Eurocom Raptor X16. To open it, you first need to undo the 14 Phillips head screws securing the bottom. Pop the back panel by holding and lifting the two back exhausts while slightly pushing the plate down with your wrists. If that's too risky for you, pop the exhausts one by one. Lift the back until half the panel is detached, then gently wiggle it from side to side, right to left or vice versa. This should be enough to release all the internal clips. If not, use a thin plastic tool to do that. The internal view of the bottom cover reveals a metal plate on top of the two SSD slots on the right. There is a pre-applied thermal pad for all installed NVMe drives. This notebook relies on an 80 watt hour battery. Before taking it out, pull down its connector to remove it and undo the four Phillips head screws that hold the battery fixed to the chassis. The large capacity is enough for a bit more than three hours of 4K video playback. Not a superb result, You get three storage slots that fit 22 80 SSD drives. The top right slot is for Gen 5 drives. The one underneath it and the slot to the battery's left are for Gen 4 units. Both SSD models here are also cooled by thermal pads from below. The two SODMs are compatible with up to 128 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM. It'll be perfect if the modules were additionally cooled by pads, but they aren't. Curiously, the replaceable Wi-Fi card sits in front of the left NVMe slot. So if the latter is occupied by a storage drive, it'll fully cover the wireless unit. This could potentially lead to connection problems, though I didn't experience any during my testing. The large vapor chamber thermal system comprises two fans and four heat sinks. You can also see two heat pipes with one dedicated to each chip. The chipset is also cooled. It's time to take out the cooling. Let's unplug the fan connectors first and the three Phillips heads around each of the housings. Then to undo the seven screws in the center. Don't forget the screw that is close to the chipset. Now gently pry off the massive cooling with a lever tool. Here's how the bottom of the thermal system looks.
The CPU is on the right, while the GPU, which is surrounded by memory chips, is on the left. Check out our full review at techpowerup.com.